Welcome to the advanced search tutorial. Click on link to pull up the advanced search. The power of eHRF is that the database is organized by cultures and by subjects. Here you see a typical full text page in eHRF. On the top is the author name and the title of the document. To the left is a page focus such as region name, culture name, field date, date coverage and place coverage. In the table of contents is a link to the publication information and clickable links to the various headings and chapters. You can navigate through the pages using the various buttons or the pull-down list with the page numbers. The uniqueness of eHRF is that the pages are indexed at the paragraph level with subjects. The subjects, based on the outline of culture materials, are also called OCM subjects. As the contents of the paragraph will change, so will the OCM subjects on the right-hand side. You can use the subjects to search the paragraphs for concepts rather than keywords. For example here, these sentences are on food taboo, expressed by the subject diet. You can find these subjects either in browse subjects or in the advanced search. Back to the advanced search tutorial. Use cultures, subjects, and keywords to formulate your search. Let's say you're interested in searching for food taboos in cultures of East Africa. You can create a pretty sophisticated search using add cultures, add subjects, add keywords, and add another clause. Let's go over the search components. Click Add Cultures to bring up the menu. Browse cultures using region, the alphabetic index, or the country index. Click the links to connect to other regions. Click the region name or use the arrow to open and close the culture names. Check the boxes to select and deselect culture names. Click Add Cultures to add the cultures to your list. Click Add Subjects for the Subjects menu. This is similar to the Cultures menu. Use the alphabetic index for an index of subjects and words. Click the letter or type in your term. Use the OCM code if you're familiar with the numbers in the outline of culture materials. Click Add Subjects to add the subject to your list. You can also use keywords to expand or narrow your search. Separate your keywords with a space. For word variations as well as singular and plurals, put in an asterisk at your word stem. Put phrases in quotations. Omit hyphens for hyphenated words. Click the plus sign to add another clause. Now let's go over the search components for this advanced search. In this example, we're searching for food taboos in cultures in East Africa using OCM subjects, keywords, and cultures. For the subject on food, we use keywords as well as OCM subjects. For the subject on taboo, we use keywords as well as an OCM subject. After adding the terms, it's important to set the Boolean operators correctly. While Boolean operator AND narrows your search, Boolean operator OR expands your search. Now let's go through the terms in your first clause. Here you have OCM subject diet, or eating, or keywords eat, or food, or diet. In the second clause, you have the OCM for taboo, or the keywords taboo, or avoid, or abstain. Make sure to set the Boolean operator to AND between the clauses. Use the reset key to cancel the search, or click on search to execute the search. Click on the link or arrow for a list of the cultures. Use the arrows in your columns to sort your results. Click on narrow results to sort by subsistence types and by sample. Click on a culture name for the paragraph results. On top is the culture name and below the document results. On the right hand side you see snippets of the text with the highlighted keywords and the OCM subjects. Click on link to read the paragraph or click go to read the paragraph in context of a page. Use the tabs to navigate through the pages 
in the breadcrumbs to return to the results. More on collecting data in the collecting data tutorial. This ends the tutorial. Thank you for watching.